Several textbooks which survived from the Vedic age gives us a glimpse into the early world of mathematics. What we know today is that back then most of the mathematicians or scholars were interested in mathematics for one primary purpose and that was to create sacrificial altars with the perfect measurement. The most important religious textbook of this period was the Sulva Sutra. The Sulva Sutra contains instructions on how to construct a perfect sacrificial altar or the yag. The requirements for the fire altars were so specific that some of them could be challenging even for a modern day mathematician. For example, one of the specific requirements of the Sulva Sutra was that all fire altars must have the same area but different shapes. This we know is not possible for many shapes such as a square and a circle because this would require us to square a circle or circle a square and we know that both these constructions are not possible because of the impossibility of constructing a transcendental number. Among the earliest and the most important mathematician of the Vedic age was Bodhyana. Bodhyana lived in the 8th century BC and he is the composer of the Bodhyana Sulva Sutra. This sutra contains, among other things, an approximation formula for the value of the square root of 2, which is accurate to 5 decimal places. Among many other things, the Sulva Sutra also contains the first known verbal expression of the Pythagoras theorem. It states that the diagonal of a rectangle produces an area which both its length and breadth produce together. In addition to the Bodhyana Sulva Sutra, there were two other Sulva Sutras. The next Sulva Sutra was composed by Manava and is known as the Manava Sulva Sutra. Manava lived between 750 to 650 BC. The third and the final Sulva Sutra is known as the Apastam Sulva Sutra, which was composed by Apastam, an ancient scholar who lived in the 6th century BC. The religious textbooks also provide evidence of the usage of very large numbers. For example, there is a prayer or mantra which is used during the Ashwameg Yag which uses numbers all the way from 100 to 10 to the power 12. 